Mully did a good job of blocking his hip down, Green keeping choice. him from being able to come in there. And here's his double leg by Moley. Just, you see Gillespie, just a little extended. Moley right underneath him, pulls those hips in nice and quick, pops him up in the air, and there's not much you can do for Gillespie other than uh, turn yourself real quick and see if you can't find the mat fast so you don't give up more than a two-point takedown. Just starting the second period, you're looking at the number one wrestler in the country at 157 pounds, Gregor Gillespie. But you have Moley, ninth overall. I think is that's where they have him in the country. So I mean, he's, he's yeah, pretty that, tough too. That coach's uh, index or whatever they call that, that has him at nine, and the RPI is around 13. So you know that that's pretty top quality uh, wrestling there. You know, it being 28 and five at this point in time, five losses is not a lot. Now Gregory Lesby, 37 and 0, and there he is on a single leg. But you see. Moley's got that, that arm kind of underneath and he's reaching across and grabbing that, that elbow. It's a little bit of a pry that he's able to use there to, to stop and, uh, Gillespie from being able to kind of suck that leg in and come in closer than he'd like to to be able to finish and get a better angle on it. Well, there may be three matches going at once, but the attention of the building is on what you're watching at home right now. Well, as Wrestling be. fans know that uh, the number one guy at 157 is center stage right now. <laughs> well, that's exactly right. And, and Gregor Gillespie just, uh, Moley's done a great job of shutting him down. And, and what you see is Gillespie being a little frustrated. Not able to do some of the things he'd like to do. And, and uh, he's wrestling from behind, which is probably something that hasn't happened a lot this year. So it's a little bit different mentality. There's a warning for stalling on, on Moley. And Moley spins around back, doesn't have the takedown yet, but it's awful close, and there it is. Tying it at four. What a big momentum boost that has to be for Matt Moley. Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, Springford High School, great wrestling tradition there. Wow, he's just being he's on just the lead, excuse me, job. six to yeah. two. He's doing an unbelievable job, Jed. That, that's the end of the second Red period. Choice. You're gonna go Red into choice. the third period leading six to two. Yeah, my mistake, but the thing that impresses me is just how strong upper body Moley is and the ability to finish. And he's, he was able to spin around and pops Gillespie up in the air and Gregor has that kind of look on his face. Uh, I don't know if it was more of a pain look. It might have been more of emotional, psychological pain at that point. Can't believe that I just gave up a third takedown. And, and probably something he's not really used to doing, just having somebody spin around the corner on him like that is not something that happens a whole heck of a lot. Wow, Mark Moley, opportunity knocks. Here it is, up 6-2, to two, starting the third period. Angel Rivera is the uh, referee. Well, six to two, and he's got a minute and 34, minute 35 riding time now, which which means he spent a lot of time on top. Gillespie hasn't been able to get out, which, you know, not that he's the most quick and explosive guy in the world, but he's always done a nice job of being able to block things and roll, create a little pressure, get himself out of there. Moley doing a great job of, of staying on top, and there he basically cuts him loose. You knew there was that one point that was hanging in there for the escape, especially with him coming off the bottom, the scoring area there. Well, and he's got a minute 54 riding time. Gillespie's going to have a heck of a time. No, don't wait, Gregor, don't wait! Cutting that time down. So he's almost getting to the don't point wait. where he's up 7-3, to three, which is a four-point lead. Just And all he's doing is trying to keep Gregor Gillespie right in front of him. Gillespie, what he's not done a good job, which he usually does in most matches, is he changed angles a lot. There he takes a long, high crotch, which is a really tough way to go in at it. He's in on it. Moley's just trying to uh, to hold on there, see if he can stalemate that. He might be looking a little bit for what they call a spladel. Not able to get that. Gregor Gillespie pops out. There he's got himself a takedown. That'll make it six to five. Our he's going to have to cut him loose. Looks like they has got something with his shoulder and his elbow. There's a red splotch. I don't know if that's bothering him or not. Well, I know there's 30 seconds left, and he's essentially down by three points. He's going to need two takedowns or a takedown and a near fall here. Because the riding time clock is clearly Moley right, right now. Right. There's no doubt about it. He can't erase that anymore. Now, I wouldn't be surprised, but Gillespie hasn't done much. There's no no warning for stalling on Moley, basically because Gillespie hasn't taken those shots. There it is. Underneath 10 seconds to go. 
Number one, Gregor Gillespie looked at the clock and a humongous upset. Matt Moley has done it from Bloomsburg, knocking off Gregor Gillespie of Edinburgh. Whoa. Wow, just a great match by Moley. You know, went out, went right after him from the beginning. Got two nice double legs. I think it surprised Gillespie. Popped him up in the air a couple of times. And then uh, that, that last takedown that Moley had where uh, toward the end of the second period where Gillespie just sort of lost track of him a little bit. And Moley spun around the corner, got himself a takedown, which ended up really being the difference in the match. I was so impressed with Moley, the, his upper body and his strength to finish his moves off. Well, here's Gillespie. Here's one of those last scrambles where Gillespie gets himself uh, that takedown to, to make it a little bit closer. But, you know, all that whole time, all the time's ticking away. You don't have much left. And, and right here, you see him. He's looking over his corner. What do I do? What do you want me to do? There's not much time left. Do I have time to let him up and cut him, cut him loose and get another takedown? Took that gamble and uh, didn't pan out for him. Moley wins uh, an unbelievably uh, well well done match for him. Here he is just popping Gillespie up in the air. There's that uh, last takedown and Gillespie hits a little bit there and not looking real happy at the moment, which, you know, why would why would you be? And so a uh, great match by Moley. And, and I suppose if you're Gillespie, not that you're not you're wanting this by any stretch of the imagination, but if you needed to rededicate yourself going forward, if you're going to lose one, lose one now, because when it comes in a couple weeks, you don't want to lose one then. Yeah, well, 